So, you want to know how to use normal maps to make your textures look better in Blender? Well, just flip the map from upside down and it'll stop looking weird. Hey guys, welcome back to Tuts by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. Taking a look at uh, how to do what I what I just said, pretty much. So, we're going to go ahead, and I have the default cube here, this is the default cube. And as you can see, I have a very nice like wood grain kind of thing going on here with the... Um, reflections and the whatever else you want to say so the only thing I did was I went ahead and went to the modifiers tab with the cube selected and then hit uh, hit on subsurf and displacement actually we don't need the displacement I'll talk about that in a second uh, I just added some displacement so that's just add modifier right here and then uh, subsurface uh, yeah right there and we're just gonna bump up the viewport to about uh, maybe four and then also the render to four as well so Next thing I did was I hit tab, uh, I should to my overlays on, I hit tab to go into edit mode, and I just hit uh, U to smart UV project, and now you can see, obviously I have a texture on this, which you do not have yet, but we'll fix that right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and drag our my cursor up to the top left, and just split our screen by splitting that in two, and then changing this to the shader editor right there. Now you can see, this is pretty much what I set up for the texture. Um, and what we have here is uh, pretty much a uh, two textures and then the actual principal BSDF, which is a regular material, of course. But yours right now should look just like this, like, 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 like this. Um, so what I did was I, I put everything on on zero except for clear coat. Clear coat is on 2. Uh, 0.25, sorry. Um, and then I went ahead and hit shift A and searched for an image texture right there. So I grabbed that. And then I just hit new, and what I did was I searched for my image in my folder, which is just, uh, which is just a, uh, a image I got off pixels.com, which I'll leave the link in the description, as always. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug up the color of this into the base color of the principal BSDF shader, and this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look just shiny, in like a regular texture, which is fine. It still looks good. I mean, it, it could it, it, nothing wrong with it. Um, but I can pull this further, so you can see how when I move this around. Uh, let me turn this off again. You can see how when I move this around, it kind of like just looks shiny. It doesn't look like it has some kind of texture on it. It looks like a smooth bowling ball. That's what it looks like. It looks like a wood textured bowling ball. It looks like that's what it looks like. So I don't want that. I want it to look more like wood. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this uh, this image texture by hitting Shift D. Once again, Shift D, and then putting that right down beneath this texture, and plugging the color into the normal of the principal BSDF shader, and into the clear coat normal. So now you can see we have this, which is uh, is a little bit too shiny. So I'm actually going to turn the clear coat down a little bit to maybe 0 0.06. Let's just do 0 0.07. 0 0.07, and now you can see we actually have a texture to our to our shine, to our reflection. You can see it kind of follows the wood grain now. You can see down here, it's following the texture of all of this rougher stuff right here. You can see right there, when it gets up here to this little uh, wood imperfection circle, it just, it like kind of, you know, goes around and, and follows the curvature. You can see right here, if you take a look at this darker wood line, it obviously, the shine is not very strong inside of that line and it's kind of going along the edges there, which looks very, very cool and it's so simple to do you don't even a lot of people are like oh, you need different textures you need different you need black and white it needs to be different color for normal maps it doesn't have to be you can actually just use the same exact texture and it works really really well already so this is the super simple super basic version of uh normal maps in blender which is very very cool you, like i said you can just do this with one image you don't need six or seven different images um, and you can see right here, I just love this piece right here. You see it just goes over top of that black line, kind of on the rim of the wood there. Very, very cool. So that is pretty much it. There's nothing else to do this. It's literally just one node that I just duplicated and put somewhere else. Very, very simple to do. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. That is it for today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.